Mm. What else? Another amazing experience you should know that it's there. Let's take any clip, because this film needed a lot of RX intervening. So this is my RX Connect window, and this is my RX editor. As you can see, it's already here. And guys, this is insane. This is ridiculous. I can make it like select it here, de-click it here, let's de-wind it here, for example, let's de-rustle it here, and so on, and so on with all my modules. I mean, come on, you can't get any better, right? Like, one of my hands is is here with my iPads, with my Metagrades, and one hand is here. So this is really... Mm, I cannot imagine improving my RX operations anymore. This is the best it could get, really. I'm there, I have reached my destination somehow, so now I'm gonna get bored, probably. And I told you there's a solution to this as well, because Nuendo does not support multi-touch nor Cubase. Well, who cares? There's something called D-Touch for Nuendo, made by Ada Audio. I haven't heard about it, I have to be frank with you. And this is how it looks like. It's a server application, and then you add a plugin on your timeline. So now it's here and it looks like this. And now I just press run. And this is like a panel, it looks kind of old style, sluggish, not really very well visible. I, I don't think it's really well organized. I have to tell you, I totally look at my Metagrids right now because they are so much better here. Anyway, let's open a mixer window and this is a mixer window which corresponds exactly to my current project in New Window. And look, this is multi-touch. 10 points touch, so now I can mix, now I can automate, now I can do things. Yeah, the only thing, maybe I, I have to figure it out, so I'm gonna make a review of this for sure, I cannot see my plugin list, my inserts of any kind, here I cannot access them with a click like I can do with the main window mixer, so let's get back in to this detach thing later in a separate episode, maybe. Music, you may ask, and you may be interested in that, very good. So I'm gonna take any of my instruments, it's gonna be mm, all right. Thorn synthesizer, I bought it recently on a huge discount from Plugin Alliance, as you all probably know, here it is. And here actually is going to appear something else. That's gonna be my MIDI Studio iPad, a MIDI controller and looks like this. Of course it's not easy to play this keyboard really, but just for the purposes of, let's say, sound design, of making some sounds, it's a nice combo that gives me a feel of a physical instrument and maybe for EQing, for operating fab filters, whatever, it's not so important, but now I start having a feeling that it is a real physical synthesizer and really it feels absolutely, absolutely great. Yeah, this is that, let's say, 
mm, infected mushroom like style also the synthesis of that style i think but look it's really fast it's creative i can get there in seconds and it's all really very pleasing and it's all really very satisfying satisfying because it is physical so it's my keyboard here's my synth of course i would prefer to have a real keyboard here but well you have if i have to choose my metal grids stay here anyway this is amazing but you know what this is not only door and i also have to mention it right closing all the windows and opening my email like this and doing any stuff I would need to do, or like, for example, plug-in Alliance site. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them, but I feel like browsing through some plugins and seeing their products. Ah, black box now analog design is on a discount. This is great, of course, I can zoom this thing. I can take any other app that I feel like using and put it here and start using it. Probably that's gonna be something that's gonna happen to my Unreal editor. I'm spending some time there making a computer game. I'm gonna open uh, any Unreal project. And here's the uh, main Unreal uh, Engine window with uh, any of my projects. And also I can do like really miracles here, guys. I can of course take a look around, but I can mm, transform any objects anyway. I feel like doing this. So uh, let's get back to this one and I can rotate it. I can try to scale it any desired way. Also, please notice it works together with my Metagrid layout for Unreal Engine Editor. And this is a powerful combo. This is what makes it amazing. This thing is absolutely cool, but this plus this is amazing. This is... <sighs> anyway, uh, yeah, let's get back to any normal talk. There's one more advantage. One more advantage I have to tell you about. This right screen I have here, this is my window 27 inch window for audio analysis, loudness metering, having my spectrum analyzer and for example my stereo face sound field analyzer or whatever I need there to be, it's going to be there. This screen really having analysis on a big screen of this kind gives you a nice insight into things and also this is some kind of an additional advantage and you know what probably this video is gonna be long again so let's try to sum the things up so is it all worth it is it slate like or better well i have never used slate but i know some of its features and yeah slate raven was some kind of a background for this video and i had it in my mind all the time because this is the main touch driven solution for your DAW on the market I think and can this replace Slate? Well Slate of course has got some additional extras because at the bottom you've got this panel of customizable buttons but you know what I don't care I have my Metagrid and I'm pretty damn sure it's not replaceable by anything by Slate, so this is not an advantage. In 10 points multi-touch uh, with Slate, well, theoretically the same with this screen, but some software does not support it, like my Steinberg Numendo, for example. The durability, the robust of the build, well, Slate looks like a tank. My screen does not look, look like a tank, but hopefully this is just a studio env environment and nothing bad's gonna happen here oh maybe a flood no the huge the huge huge plus for this setup is it's way way more versatile you can use it for anything you wish and when configuring it with metagrid it's the price point well the cheapest raven is 1,090 euro, let's say, while my screen was 
230 bucks. But you know what? I should also include my Metagrades and my iPads. The models I'm using are 400 bucks, so that gives 800 bucks plus 230 plus Metagrid costs. You know what? Raven MTI 2, which is the cheapest one, I think, and this, they cost the same exactly. And this is a draw. Hey, it's me. It's another day in the studio, but I actually forgot about one thing. Many people reported that Slate can behave totally erratically and unstable on Windows. And well, guess what? I'm a PC. Anyway, why don't you choose Slate Raven or something more custom like your own setup, what I did, for example. Touch screens are amazing and they really change the way you work. They truly changed the way I work. I become more creative, I become faster, and everything's more pleasant, more con convenient, and absolutely, absolutely, I really, really enjoy working like this. Okay, I'm a huge fan, I'm a freak of touch-driven environment at work, but give it a try one day. Go for it, because I deeply believe this is the future of not only door of many many things we're gonna do in the nearest future that's it for today guys i wish i had raven here with me to test it just side by side maybe that happens one day like comparing what i have with a real raven and then deciding what's better i will also uh, review this app called um this app called D-Touch with multi-touch support for Nuendo and I'll test more and more things for you and I hope to enjoy it all like I did last two days and I hope you're gonna enjoy it with me. This X-Touch needs to be packed up and sold. Take care. <laughs>